punishment. It's about ensuring someone returns to trial. Now, in this case, based on the facts of this, of, of what we have here, and they also consider future dangerousness, et cetera, should Charlie Idelson be released on bond? No. Uh, despite being a defense lawyer, I got to say no. Uh, for the reasons that Terry laid out, right? You're talking about a conspiracy to commit murder. You're talking about murder for hire. You're talking about lying in wait. These are all the kind of horrible things that a judge would be concerned with. And, and you're absolutely right. Judges are risk adverse. And when they hear about this type of a murder, they realize that several people were involved, the planning that went into it, the, uh, the risk of flight, the evidence against him. I don't think there's any way a judge would uh, you know, leave their neck out there and take a chance on this type of a defendant. Yeah, it's really something where no judge wants to, as you said, leave their neck out there because if something happens, well, that could be on the judge and people would blame, be, be blaming that judge as well and no one wants that.